In another cliffhanger from Tuesday's elections, the Louisiana Senate is headed for a runoff, and we won't know the winner until December. All the votes have been counted, and Democrat incumbent Mary Landro leads Republican Bill Cassidy by about one point. But neither candidate amassed 50 percent of the vote, triggering a runoff. WSJ's Valerie Bowerlein is in New Orleans this morning and joins us to tell us all about it. Valerie, thanks for being there. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure to have you, and it's uh, <clears throat> not often enough. So, uh, Republicans have captured, um, when, when you look at, they've captured Senate seat after Senate seat around the country. This is one that the Democrats really want to hold on to. Tell us more. Well, the runoff is coming up December 6th. It's on a Saturday, and it's a big Saturday here. It's the SEC championship, and it's one of those Saturdays right before the, um, the holiday season, so so all bets are off in terms of what the voter turnout will look like. Um, both Landrew and her her opponent, Representative Cassidy, said last night, um, name check President Obama, who has been the big issue here, just as he has been in other states. The Senator Landrew said, "Look, he can't win simply by tying me to President Obama." And uh, Mr. Cassidy said, "Hey, if her record is so closely to a line by President Obama, we're going to talk about it." So the same same issues will be at play. The national climate um, turnout will be anybody's guess, and national Democrats, as you said, Simon, are going to are expected to put a lot of resources into this race. Now, I know that the runoff campaign has already started, and they're kicking off with that. But but let's talk about the weird system, or the unusual system, maybe is, is a more diplomatic word to say, that Louisiana has. It ended up having two Republican candidates, didn't it? And two Republican candidates and one one Democrat. Surely, I can I, even I can add up the two numbers, and I see that they're all the Republicans got more than the Democrat. That, that is a good point. That's an excellent point. And it's a si significantly more, you know, on the order of 12 or 14 points more. But uh, what you have to remember is that Mary Landrieu um, has pulled out a tight runoff before in a similar situation back in 2002. So runoffs are a strange dynamic, as you said. Um, so do, do you think the, uh, the, the, the Republican Party will descend on Louisiana to help out the Republicans uh, to say, hey, we're, we're, we're going to help you and uh, use all the tactics that were seen to work in the, the other elections that we've had yesterday? Oh, I think that this is a, I mean, Republicans see this as their opportunity to roll up Louisiana. Senator Landrieu was really the last Democrat standing statewide here. The governor is a Republican. Senator, Senator Vitter from Louisiana is the other Republican. And all the statewide offices. So, yeah, they want it a lot, as do, as do the Democrats. So I anticipate we'll spend a lot of time here in the next month. Okay. Well, it sounds like it's time for you to go have a beignet, which are always yummy. Thank you very much. Valerie Bowline of The Wall Street Journal.